This morning is for the Premier. As you know, Premier, my Bill 74 takes a firm stand in Good support day. of Ontario workers and in support of an Ontario company. Premier, on September the 9th, you spoke in support saying, and I quote, it's about a level playing field, and it's a very good example of the kind of thing where we can find agreement and we should be able to move forward." Unquote. Premier, you are all in. But on October the 2nd, you stated, and I quote, I will not be supporting it, assuming that the decision is not appealed, so that's the decision. Unquote. Well, Premier, you have both flipped and flopped, but the time for clarity is now, and thousands of workers at Ellis Dawn are eager for your word. With the decision being officially appealed, Premier, will you, assume, will you resume your support of my important bill, or will you First renege day. on your word in favour of foreign corporations over Ontario workers? Thank you, guys. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And as the member opposite knows, the divisional court has made a ruling that quashed the decision of the OLRB, OLRB Mr. Speaker, so the company can continue to operate as it did prior to the OLRB re, re, um, case, Mr. Speaker. So. From my perspective, and I have said this because circumstances have changed, the urgency that was created by that Labour Board decision, Mr. Speaker, have, remo have been removed by the Divisional Court decision, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Supplementary. Well, Premier, uh, just to reiterate your quote, you said, I will not be supporting it, assuming that the decision is not appealed. That was your word, Premier. Your lack of leadership and lack of decisiveness has risked an Ontario success story and thousands of Ontario construction jobs. My Bill 74 will maintain the status quo for Ellis Dawn and will settle this issue once and for all. Premier, you stated that you would not be supporting my bill, assuming. Attorney General will come to order. Second time. Premier, again, you stated that you would not be supporting my bill, assuming it was not appealed. However, despite the appeal, you have chosen to stand with foreign construction companies instead of Ontario workers. Based on your past statements, it is obvious that your government expects a divisional court ruling to hold. Premier, when did you tell the sheet metal workers and the electrical Question. workers that you expect their appeal to fail, and why do you refuse to stand up for Elliston and their thousands of employees all Thank across you. Ontario? <laughs> And I think the uh, member opposite knows full well that there has been no, uh, no uh, appeal granted at this point. There's a leave to appeal before the court. We believe that the I believe that the circumstances has cha have changed. The divisional court has quashed the ruling by the OLRB, Mr. Speaker. And because of that, I believe that the urgency that was in place because of that, uh, that OLRB decision is no longer in place, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Your question?